Hundreds of years down the line, who's going to know who was the President of the United States or something? But everyone will remember who was those first four people who stepped on Mars. It might put me in danger, but that's the whole point. If we hit the atmosphere too fast, the heat shielding fails and we would be incinerated. Not a nice way to die, but it would be almost instantaneous. If I die in Mars, that will be great. Hi! Oh, yeah. not, not the pastry kind, the, the mathematical kind. So, I know 90 digits of pi. 3.141592655897933843843864333 You sure that last nine is not an eight? No, it's definitely a nine. We're going to be considering how to get from Earth to Mars. So what we'll do, we'll start with not hitting that. Ryan, you have your had sex? No, I haven't. Do you want to? Not particularly. I, I don't have any desire to have sex. In fact, I, I've never actually kissed anyone before. Oh, you're a masturbated? Um, yes, but there, it's kind of... Um, there, there's a scientific that. reason for that, but... Um, what do you mean? Well, um, it raises your risk of prostate cancer if you don't. Minus g times the mass of the sun divided by r2. So this is the first velocity boost that we need to get onto our Hoffman transfer orbit. I think the most important thing to do in life is to leave a legacy. A lot of people do that by, say, having a child and having a family. For me, this would be my legacy. To try and find there's life on Mars, to inspire a new generation, to lead to the beginnings of the first civilization on another planet. That is my legacy. I'm 29 years old. I was born and raised in Iraq. In this culture, you first be treated as an object. I have to hide my hair, I have to hide all my body parts, uh, not to show my hands. I wasn't happy. Do you feel like that when you left Iraq, you were saying goodbye to your family forever? I did. And it's a kind of, kind of in a way, I see it, it's just same, if I ever made it to Mars, it's gonna be the same experience as me coming to the United States. Going back is not an option, never. I don't feel like I need a family to, to be able to survive and exist. What about sex? There's never gonna be sex on Mars. How do you feel about that? It's not a big problem for me not to have sex for um, definitely. Um, I don't wanna, how, how can I say, do, can I say, I feel kind of shy to say it. It's just, you can satisfy yourself. <laughs> After 10 years, I have the plan to become an astronaut. <laughs> to, to live in Mars. Do you know where is Mars? My <laughs> junk, One way ticket. It's one way just to go and not to come back anymore. I think this world is not a good place to live anymore. We have so many diseases, we have so many army conflicts, we have natural disasters, we have inequities, we have so many problems that I believe it's not possible to solve. I would like to see a better world comparing to this one. And the, I think the good way to, to, to solve those problems is to start from the beginning. So for us who are here, here on Earth, it's like if this person 
tivesse morrido já para nós não existe. Não é um suicídio. Podia se pensar, ah, ele está a suicidar. Não é suicídio. Antes, pelo contrário, ele vai para lá. É missão de Deus. É missão da humanidade. When I was very young, around the age of two, uh, my dad left me and my sister, who had only just been born, he made a conscious choice not to support or care about my sister and I throughout our entire childhood. And that makes me feel almost, does he not care about us? Are we, are we not worthwhile of that? It does make me angry. I do worry because my sister and I, I feel like, did we miss out on something when we were younger that almost everyone else had? Has your sister been okay without a father? Um, oh, sorry, I'm not really sure to answer because I don't want to touch on something that she wouldn't want on the camera. But there, there is, um, there is a reason. But I'd rather that not be on the footage. Because I just, I just love my sister to bits, and it. There's no worse thing to see than someone almost losing who they are. Didn't you ever, when you were little, think? Where the fuck are you? <laughs> I didn't have a father figure, really, being my actual father, but I had the advantage that my grandparents kind of filled that in. I know, but what about so, your father? I don't know, because what, what, because I don't know what's a father supposed to do, because I haven't had one. A lot of the traumatic experiences I've had throughout my life has been due to people abandoning me, and I suppose now. If I get to go to Mars, then I would be abandoning everyone. I mean, it's, it's, it's not like I'm like, haha, I will punish those who abandon me by abandoning everyone. It's not, it's not, not like that at all. Bye. Bye. Take care, Ryan. Ah. <laughs> well, the last time I hug him, if, if it does come to that moment, then uh, I will tell him how much I love him. I will certainly cuddle him. I, I will kiss him. Um, then I will just just tell him to enjoy his life and never ever forget how much he's loved. I think uh, love is a, is a word that refers to an emotional need. I have never felt and I don't think that I believe in it. I believe that uh, there is nobody has this kind of emotional effect on me. Love is not something that I need. If I fall in love in the next, uh, before I go to Mars, uh, I'll have a terrible problem to deal with that. It's something that you can't control. You, 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 you can't avoid completely, but you can't control when you feel that your, your feelings are changing. You can try to stop in that, at that point. So that's what I'm trying to do. Let me offer like the following thought and I want you to comment on this. I think that the Mars One mission is a great and noble idea, but there's a contradiction. The only people who could go on that spaceship, who could commit to huh? going to Mars forever, have to be somehow crazy. True or untrue? Define crazy. Uh, crazy is, uh, uh, is uh, the unfamiliar, crazy is the different person. What is crazy for people uh, is crazy. For me, I think my sister, older sister, is crazy for having her dream to be uh, have kids and have uh, a husband and grow up and die. Já imaginou alguém quando desaparece de nós de vez? I'm not afraid of that. I'm afraid of something in this life, life. But no, I'm not afraid of that. All of us, we're, we're gonna die. Nunca mais vamos ver. Talvez vamos nos ver no céu. I will see him in the paradise only. If you're just one of seven billion people on Earth, it's so difficult to make yourself stand out to do something big. I don't know. Fifty years down the line. If I'm on Mars and there's a dust storm raging or something like that and it's and I'm cold, being able to think and look back and knowing that it mattered what I did, in the end that, that does make it worthwhile to me. If you're gonna die here or there, it doesn't really matter. Why you're going to die, what matters for me? 
if I died on Mars, that would be an accomplishment. We're the ultimate voyeurs, the ultimate peeping toms. No one's gonna catch us. And we're getting orders to take these people's lives.